Here's how to activate an eSIM on your iPhone. Now, if you just got a new iPhone or you're switching maybe different carriers or you got a new phone, you can always activate that eSIM card so that it works with your current carrier. I'll show you how to do that. Let's hop into your settings first. And then you can see midway down is cellular. We will tap on that. Now you can see I have an eSIM card here. If you already have one, you might wanna hit that delete eSIM to delete out the old e electronic SIM card. And then you can see midway down is add eSIM. So I will tap on that. And this will allow me to pull over that eSIM from whatever other phone it was previously set up on. So you can see there are a couple different options. One is transfer from nearby phone. So if I tap on that, it says, to transfer a phone number from another iPhone, make sure your other iPhone is passcode protected but unlocked nearby with Bluetooth on and running iOS 16 or later. So it needs to have iOS 16 or later. The Bluetooth has to be on and it has to be unlocked. So put it right next to your phone and it will pop up with the ability to transfer that eSIM from the other one and activate it on your phone. Now, there is another option. You can go back here and hit QR code. Some different carriers will give you a QR code that will automatically detect and upload and activate that eSIM. So if that's the case, you can either just scan it like that or enter details manually. You can go in here and enter all of this information in to be able to activate that eSIM. Now, keep in mind, of course, to get this, you might need to contact your carrier and say, hey, I need to have an electronic electronic SIM card so that my phone works with your service. I can connect to your towers, all of that stuff. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.